My name is Norman Meir, and I'm an IPC Master Instructor for Best Incorporated. Today, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to reball a BGA. What we'll be using is a Tacky Paste Flux, solder wick, an Easy Reball, and SMTC 8BL100 soldering iron tip made by Medcal. First thing you want to do is you want to apply a little tacky paste flux down first and remove the, the balls off the BGA. So just put a little bit on there, spread it around a little bit, just like I'm doing. Then you can just wipe your finger off, no big deal. Next thing you're gonna do is gonna use the blade tip and remove the balls off of there to start with. And this is very easy to do, you just come down and you slowly wipe across just like that. Then you turn it. Make sure your tip is nice and clean each and every time. Being very gentle, steady little pace. Don't put any pressure down or you're gonna lift pads. Turn it one more time or come over to this side however you wanna do it. Again, make sure your tip is nice and clean and get all that excess off. Now that you've got the excess off, this will help save you on a little bit of your solder wick. Now what you're going to come down is with your solder wick and clean the BGA side itself. And you can start anywhere that you want. Just go down and up, down and up, down and up. Because if you slide around, what's going to happen is you're going to damage it. You're going to do mass damage, you could actually lift pads. You know, a lot of other different things that might occur. So you've got to be very careful with this process. So just going straight down, straight up. Being very gentle. There's no reason to rush this. The product has already been manufactured. What you're going to be doing is reballing it. So just take your time, one pad at a time. Or one area at a time. Just the width of your your blade tip. So far it doesn't look too bad, but you just got to keep on going until you get them all done. Come back in here. And just go up and down, up and down. Do not apply any pressure. Let the heat source do its job. It's got to heat it up to actually wick up into the solder wick. And if you don't, you're going to cause more damage than you ever imagined. So straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. We're almost there. Straight down and straight up the whole time. And I'm using actually a number three solder wick, okay? That's the size that I'm using. If you try to use a BGA solder wick, sometimes it's a very large mass area that you're going to work with and there might be ground planes in there. So it's kind of takes a little bit longer to heat up. And we don't want to do that. We just want to do the straight down, straight up process. Making sure they got everything nice and flat, looking around there, looking at all my pad sides. Uh, looks fairly decent there. My pads look good. Okay, one thing that you want to remember is to actually put solder back on the end of the tip after you're done using it. Because remember, you solder wick to remove solder off the board side, but also it will come away from the soldering iron itself. The next thing you want to do is put some isopropyl alcohol on a chem wipe or an acid brush and come in here and clean off all that flux residue that you have left on there. Just like so. And it might take several wipes to do this with, but make sure you do it. Okay, because it needs to be nice and clean because you don't want to introduce any contaminants on there. This is the one we are actually doing right now. This is the style, brand name. It is, uh, if you have computers and stuff, you'll actually see this type in there. So I'm cleaning up my area. I'm going to come back in here and wipe it nice and clean. Being very careful, make sure I'm ESD safe. i got a wrist strap on because you don't want to burn up your BGA, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to apply a small amount of solder paste into the center, 
Just a little dab will do. You don't need to go nuts on it. Okay. Then with your finger, what you're going to do next is come here and wipe it onto it. Just a thin film. You don't need, like I said, just a thin little film is all you need. All the way around, making sure you get all the BGA sites. I'm cleaning a little bit off my finger. Because again, I don't want to go overboard because remember, whatever excess is, you've got to clean that back off too. Now, next thing you want to do is make sure you get correct orientation on this guy. And you look around it, it's exactly the same all the way around. Here is your pin one over here. And what you want to do is look at your stencil that you're going to be, or easy reball that you're going to be utilizing and make sure your pattern matches up. And I'm looking around here, looking at all sides and it looks exactly the same all the way around. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it over, put it nice and flat over there and then go and take it back to a oven and put it in there and let it bake to reball it. Now that we have run it through the reflow oven, the next thing that we want to look at is how to remove it. And what I've learned to do is come around the edges all the way around, just keep going, keep a little pressure there, and then peel it off. Now once you've got it peeled off, see all the balls are off the, out of the easy reball, just like that. You don't see anything left in there. And the next thing you're going to do is grab an acid brush and clean it. A little alcohol on it. Then just come in here and do circles so you can get in between the balls really good because you got that flux residue still there and you don't want to see that. And sometimes from the adhesive that we use for the easy reball might be stuck a little bit onto the ball. So you just want to come around here, do a circular motion, go to the center, clean it up really well, just like I'm doing. Maybe a little bit more alcohol, a little bit of an angle with it, so it drips down onto the edges, just like this. Then once you're done with all that, grab a Kim wipe and dab it dry, nice and clean, just like I'm doing. And now you've reballed your BGA. Nice little solder balls back on there all the way around. You see everything is where it's supposed to be, nice and centered. Now these stencils are designed that when we do them, that they are the exact same size as the BGA that we're working with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a nice day.